Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick flyer. Stay tuned. If this is your first time, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and also turn on all notifications for future uploads. To make this quick and easy flyer, the first thing we're going to do is go to File, Open a New Document. We're going to keep the width to 20, and we are going to change the height to 15. Leave resolution at 120, and then create the new document. What we want to do is to bring in our background image. So I'm going to pull this down and with my move tool, I'm going to drag the background image into my working file. Since I don't need this image anymore, I'm going to close it and I'm going to zoom out and reposition my image and scale it to fit my file size. So now that we have our image scaled down, what we want to do is to create a filter on top of our image. I'm going to go to File, Create New, and I'm going to name this filter. And I'm going to change my color to a deep blue. And I'm going to use my paint bucket. I'm going to apply it to my filter layer. I'm going to change the opacity, take it all the way down to, let's say, um, 64, 65. Um, I'm going to change the color of my filter. I don't really like the blue. I'm going to change it. And now that we have our desired filter on top of our image, I want to bring in a brush stroke image. And you can pull this online. Um, there are so many different options. The one I found was a PNG file, which has no background. So I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to drag this into my file. I'm going to close this since I'm not going to use it anymore. And I'm going to rescale this by pressing down my shift and I'm going to just scale it to my desired size. I'm going to stretch it from top and bottom. And I'm going to reposition this. And I want to change it from black to white. So I'm going to right click on my layer, go to blending options. And blending options, I'm going to choose color overlay. And that gives me white. But if I had a different color, what I have to do is click on my color overlay and then right next to normal, I can change it to whatever color I desire. But I'm just going to go, I'm, I'm just going to click cancel. So we stick to our white and I'm going to click on OK. I'm just going to pick my text tool and I'm going to type in the information. Are you ready? Or I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to just rescale by pressing down my ship, then moving it in a little. I'm going to add the last text. Before I do that, I'm going to change the font style to what I want. And I'm just going to type in the, uh, the text. And I'm going to rescale it by just clicking on 
my shift and pulling it from one side. So now that I have my text all set, what I want to do is for the text to be transparent so that you can see the background image bleeding through the text. So what we are going to do is to select both texts by pressing down our shift and then just select all the text. I'm also going to select my brush stroke layer and I am going to press Control and then G on the keyboard to group it. I'm going to collapse my group and I'm going to select my text. I'm going to go to Blending Options and under Advanced Blending, I'm going to change my kick out to shallow. And I'm going to take my fill opacity all the way to zero and hit OK. I'm going to repeat the same step for the other text. I'm going to right click, go to Blending Options. And I'm going to change my kick out to shallow, take my opacity all the way to zero, click OK. And there you have it. Very simple, straightforward. The last thing I want to do is bring in my logo. And I already have my logo um, here. So I'm just going to pull this file down and I'm just going to drag in my logo. I'm going to close that since I'm not going to use it anymore. And I want to change the opacity on my logo. I want it to fade into my design and I'm just going to move it up to the desired location and rescale by holding down my shift, double click and move it to the desired location. And there you have it. Very simple, straightforward. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this was very helpful and it's something you're going to use in your creative design, please comment, like, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. See you in my next video. Bye.